This is Eternal Treasures with Melissa Signs. How will your faith stand against adversity? This week's devotion for reflection and prayer is entitled The Rocky Soil and is inspired by Mark 4, 5 through 6 and 16 through 17. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Others, like seeds sown on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. When a farmer cultivates a field, he removes all visible stones and debris on the surface. However, unseen rocks remain beneath the topsoil. When the scattered seed begins to germinate, the unseen rocks would thwart the roots and prevent them from growing. Because the roots did not acquire the necessary moisture for growth, when the sun came out, the crops would shrivel and die long before they could bear fruit. The rocky soil represents the heart of a person who hears the word and receives it with joy, yet has no secure root to grow and blossom. The word is forgotten when affliction or conflict arises in the life of the individual. Upon hearing the word, their initial response may be optimistic, but not with a saving faith. It is impulsive without any true understanding of what discipleship entails. This person only seeks the benefits that they can acquire from Jesus. But beneath the surface, their heart is unyielding with rebellion and resistance to the word of God. Unfortunately, this superficial response is prevalent because sometimes the gospel is presented with a promise of joy or good feelings and leaving out the command to take up your cross and follow Christ. People who hear the gospel message are not confronted with the consequences of their sin. Therefore, sincere repentance is unmet and there is no confession. On the surface, their faith appears hopeful, but they have no firm roots grounded in the gospel. Faith requires a willingness to deny the self and surrender all to Christ. A steadfast faith is one that receives living water to flourish despite the rocks that might try to hinder its growth. What rocks are preventing your faith from flourishing? Do you make time to spend with the Lord? Is Jesus your first resort or your last? Let us pray. Father God, I pray for the person whose heart is like rocky soil. Please remove the rocks that are preventing your word from taking root. I pray that they have a willingness to repent of their sin and submit to your Lordship. Help them to realize their need for a Savior and acknowledge that apart from you, they can do nothing. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have any suggestions or comments, please email me at thelady at carrythelightministries.com. You have been listening to Eternal Treasures with Melissa Sines.